when drinking Epsom salt goes wrong. Funny and true story. So like I said, when I was younger, my grandma used to make us drink Epsom salt. So for the summertime, me, my siblings, and a few of my other cousins will all go to my grandma's house and stay for the whole summer. Now, my grandma used to call us into the kitchen every time we had to drink this Epsom salt. I kid you not, every time she called us, we was either happy or sad. It was one, she telling us the food is done, or two, we had to drink something that was really nasty. Or three, we all was in trouble. So when my grandma called us into the kitchen, we thinking it's food and we happy. So some of us would get in the kitchen and see the cups line up and we would go try to tell our other cousins, yo, grandma on some BS right now. Cause we know it's some castor oil, some Epsom salt or something. So then we would have to wait till everybody got in the kitchen so we could start drinking the Epsom salt. So the moment we see the cups, we like, man, bro, come on. And then we'd get the line to my grandma, like grandma already had some. She'd be like, no, you didn't, because I ain't make it for you. And then we'll be like, but we, I made it for myself because I was backed up. She was like, all right, well, you're going to drink some more. So now, mind you, it is seven to ten of us, sometimes even more. Now, we all drink the Epsom salt at the same time. And mind you, it's only two bathrooms, one upstairs and one downstairs. Now, once we drunk the Epsom salt, it will be some of us that go outside and play, and some of us will stay in the house because we knew what time it was. Now, I got smart over time because I would stay in the kitchen and keep an eye out on the kids that play outside and then keep an eye out on the kids that's in the living room and the dining room. Because one of the bathrooms was a couple of steps away. So I was just trying to look to see if anybody was gonna be like, ooh, my stomach hurt, or doing that little, I got a poop dance. So I know to take this bathroom and let them go downstairs to the bogus bathroom. I don't know about y'all, but it seemed like every bathroom that was in the basement in anybody house was the worst bathroom. So one day I see my cousin get up and try to go into the bathroom. So I tell him like, nah, nah, I'm gonna use this when you go downstairs. He like, come on, little Sean, man, you tripping. I go in the bathroom, shut the door, and he run downstairs, no argument. Do, 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 do. So we both go in the bathroom. And then after we go in the bathroom, then everybody else started trying to go to the bathroom. And it gets, it's getting so bad because every time they come in the kitchen, they like, yo, yo, who in the bathroom? Who in the bathroom? So now I'm in the bathroom. I'm like, yo, if you got to go to the bathroom, go downstairs. And then they be moaning and groaning like, Lil Sean, please, no, I can't, I can't move, Lil Sean. So I'm like, yo, you got to wait. So now everybody that was playing outside and everybody that was in the living room, all in the kitchen begging you to get out the bathroom. First is, how long you going to be? To, oh my God, you finna make me poop on myself. To screaming my grandma's name to the top of their lungs. Grandma, he won't come out the bathroom. And this went on forever. So then I will make deals with them. Like after I'm done, I'll be like, yo, all right, I'm gonna get up, but it's gonna cost you. They're like, come on, man, what, what, what you want? I'll be like, all right, I'm gonna get up. But when you get done, we're gonna have to go to the candy store. I want some Flamer House with chips a couple bags of fruities, a couple bags of chews, and two packs of Boston baked beans. If you do that right now, I'll get up. They're like, okay, okay, let's do it, let's do it. I'll be like, you sure? They'll be like, yes, yes, come on, please. And then i get up and i let them use the bathroom. Once I'm done, I kid you not, I will sometimes run downstairs if I, if I had the time to. Whoever in that bathroom, I'll be like, yo, yo, you done? Okay, stay right here. I'm about to make a deal for us. So they like, okay, what, what type of deal? I'm like, we're going to go to the candy store after this. They like, okay, and then we start laughing. I go back upstairs and say, listen, we got another bathroom, <laughs> but it's going to cost you to get in. They like, all right, well, what you want? What you want? We want two bags of flaming Hot, cheese and meat, two bags of Fruities, a couple bags of Chews, and you good. I go downstairs with them and be like, all right. And then they're like, yo, you said an icy too, right? An icy? And then they whoever be like, hey, you want an icy cup too? Dang, okay, okay. And literally every time grandma gave us Epsom salt, I was at the candy store. <laughs> I used that strategy for years. <laughs> but another thing is, once grandma gave you this and you took too long in the bathroom, whoever was in that bathroom became your enemy, all right? I kid you not, my cousins and siblings would be right by the door like, yo, if you don't come out the bathroom, I'm stealing on you when you get out. <laughs> or they'll say, I'm gonna smack you when you get out. And then I'll be like, all right, well, since you're gonna smack me and steal on me, I'm just gonna stay in here for a little bit longer. And the same cousins or siblings that be acting tough will later come back and apologize and be like, I'm sorry, can I just please use the bathroom? But yeah, this Epsom salt used to clean us out. And later on, my grandma did kind of catch on. Don't, don't give it all to us at once. She would still make it together, but like two of us at a time. Like 
two of us, then two of us in the bathroom, and then she give the other two, and then you know what I'm saying, so on, so on. But sometimes it seemed like you could never leave the toilet. Like you just, once you got up, you thought you was done, you had to go right back in there. But I have a few funny stories about this. But if you got some stories about it, let me know, cause I'd love to hear them in the comments. Also, let me know what you think in the comments and make sure y'all follow for more content like this. And to all the cool people that follow me, I'ma see you in the next video.